there's another case I will present to you that is about the uh, postponement of the provincial council election. Under the constitution of the Republic of Sri Lanka, the right of the people for periodic elections, that is the franchise, at periodic exercising of franchise at periodic election is a fundamental right under Article 4E of the Constitution, which cannot be taken away, which is an entrenched right. But the Ranil Vikram Singh uh, Sirisena regime, during that period, they wanted to, for some reason, postpone the Provincial Council election and deny the people's right to select their candidates at the Provincial Council election, which was due in 2017. But it is clear violation of the Article 4, which is again another provision in the Constitution, which was an entrenched provision, which cannot be changed without obtaining a mandate from the people. When this bill was challenged in the Supreme Court, that is the amendment brought in to the Constitution, the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice Kresade, he held with the people. He refused to allow the bill and he rejected the bill and he declared that the bill was unconstitutional. The date that he made the order was, I, I believe it was 8th of September, 2017. When you become a single citizen of government, the respect to the court order, no. In this country, the legislature and the executive, they simply disregard the Supreme Court. The constitution required them to respect the Supreme Court order and abide by the order and, and they, cannot, they cannot enact any law after a judgment is made barring the enactment of any law against the Supreme Court order. But the legislature at that time, they simply, which is unbelievable, when they wanted to postpone the election, regardless of the Supreme Court order, at that time the Attorney General was uh, now the Chief Justice, Jansi Jasuri, yeah? he was summoned to the House by the Speaker and he was asked to give his opinion to the House. It is unbelievable. The Attorney General of the Republic of Sri Lanka, Jayanta Jayasuriya, he said, the House of uh, Representatives or, or the Parliament is the supreme body in this country. There is no other authority can make order or deny the legislative power of the people. And therefore, the Supreme Court order, the, the House is entitled to disregard that order and proceed with the postponement of the election. Can you believe it? This, this happened in this country. Accordingly, the Parliament postponed the election. And for that reason, Janta Jayasuriya, the Attorney General, was challenged before the Supreme Court for violation of people's fundamental rights, Article 4E. What happened thereafter? That time he was the Attorney General. I challenge and Agananda challenged before the Supreme Court for violation of sovereign rights of the people in the Supreme Court. What happened when the matter was taken out? It is very sad. Years and years and years. The once a fundamental right application is initiated in the Supreme Court under Article 126.5, the Supreme Court is required to hear and determine uh, any such case within a matter of two months from the filing of the case. But the Supreme Court dragged on the matter for years and years. Finally, without he affording a hearing, that application was dismissed by the Supreme Court, but they knew the court was very, very well aware that there was a direct violation of the law by the Attorney General of Jansi Jaisuriya, but he became the Chief Justice, and finally the matter was dismissed. This is the state of affairs in the Republic of Sri Lanka, but unfortunately, international community is unaware. Even the most citizens of this country is unaware how the judiciary failed the nation. So the people believe that the legislature and the executive is the responsible for the situation that we face today. But I say that not just the legislature and the executive, judiciary is equally responsible for the situation that we face in.